Hi, I'm Dean from iTex, and on this video I'll be showing you how to add a domain name to Office 365. Adding a domain name will allow you to use your own personal email address. If you do not have a domain name, please register one before proceeding. Now the first thing you need to do is to log on to Office 365 by visiting portal.microsoftonline.com enter your username and password now once into the portal click on domains which is located on the left hand side under management so first of all I'm going to click on add a domain and in this instance I'm going to use my own personal domain which is deanspencer.co.uk click next Now the first step is to verify the domain. If you click on general instructions, this will instruct you how to add a TXT record, a text record, to the domain name which will be used to verify the domain name against Office 365. Now what you will see here is the destination or points to address. So the first thing I'm going to do is select that and copy. Now my domain is hosted with Tagadab, so I go to the Tagadab control panel and here I will add a TXT record. The host name is at and then control and paste. Make sure there's no space, I delete the space there and then click submit. Now you'll see the TXT record has been added here. Once this step is complete, go back to add a domain, go down to the bottom of the screen and click verify. Now depending on the company you are with to host your domain name, this process can take anything between 15 minutes and 72 hours as it says here. The first time that you click verify to verify the domain name, it may well fail if the text record hasn't propagated across the internet and isn't yet available to Office 365. So if I click verify, now this is actually verified. It's asking me what services I want to use, exchange online, link online, click next and close. Now you can see here my domain name, deanspencer.co.uk, has been verified. Now the second stage is to configure the DNS within the domain, which will allow it to work within Office 365. So I'll click back on the domain, and here at the top you'll see DNS settings. Click there. Now these are the settings that need adding to the domain name. First of all you've got an MX record, which is Mail Exchange a C name, an additional TXT records, a service record and two more C names. The easiest way of doing this again is to copy and paste. Add MX record, host name, at sign, and paste. Again make sure there's no spaces at the end and click submit. Go back to the domain properties. The next is a C name. The host name is Auto Discover. So I'll click here to add C name. Host name Auto Discover. And paste. Click submit. Then another TXT record. I'm going to copy, add txt record, hostname at, and then paste. Now for Microsoft Link, we need a service record. This is a little bit more complicated. 
So copy here and here we've got the option to add service record. Paste. Host the content is wait port target. So wait port target. So the weight is 100, the part is 5061. And then click submit. Now you can see the service has been added there. The final two are C names, so you've got a host name and points to address. So I'll copy this, add C name, copy and paste. And the final C name, the host name here, copy paste and the target our destination copy paste click submit and that is the process complete you'll see the domain name txt records mx records c names service records here now if this process or this control panel is unavailable to you, you may wish to add, ask your web development company, your IT support company, or perhaps your ISP, who will carry out this process for you. Now click back on Domain Properties and return to Domains List. Now you'll see again, the domain name is verified and ready to use. Now what you can do is click on Users, select an email address, our user account here. As you can see this one is using the, the old email address which was assigned by Microsoft. Click on Edit, Details and select the domain name you now wish to use. And you can see the domain name is now available deanspencer.co.uk. Click Save and that is job complete. If you have any issues or require further clarification on how to add a domain to Office 365, go to www.itex.co.uk, go to the Contact Us page, and here is a telephone number. My name is Dean Spencer. Please feel free to give me a call and I'll ask, answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.